I have heard that ministers are procuring visas for people. I've said pretty much every second cabinet, if you are doing so, I have no proof. If you, for God's sake, stop it. Stop it. That is what would cause the government to fall. That famous statement came after the then Minister of State for Immigration and Nationality, Elvin Penner, had been sacked and in the middle of Minister of State Edmund Castro's attempts to defend himself against allegations that he facilitated and recommended persons for Belize visas. Castro sued this television station and whistleblower Alvarine Burgess, a lawsuit that went to court and which he later withdrew after damning admissions in court and sharp testimony from Burgess. Of course, by that time, it had become clear that he and many other members of Prime Minister Barrow's then administration were in fact intervening in the visa process on behalf of a chosen few. But according to finding 7.2 of the Special Audit Report on Visas by the Audit Department, on page 9 of the report, quote, since the law does not provide for ministers to intervene in the visa process, it was illegal for them to do so, end quote. Neither was it legal for them to request directly of the port commanders at the two major entry points into Belize, the Philip Goldson International Airport and the Northern Border, facilitate individuals with visas. Yet, according to Table B in the report, seven such requests were made between the 25th of March and the 5th of September 2012. The last was over a month before the Prime Minister's statement. We have had long lists of visas facilitated by Castro, but the audit found that Castro successfully intervened on behalf of Indian nationals Gurjeevan Singh Gill and Parmjit Singh and Nepalese Milan Thapa and Sunil Pokharel to receive visas to enter Belize at the PGIA on March 25th and 28th, 2012, respectively. Then there is Hugo Pat, Corozal North representative. On August 17th, 2012, he intervened on behalf of two Honduran nationals, Elvin Roberto Ramirez Lecona and Jonathan Ezekiel Rodriguez Elvier, writing to the department in Belmopan. The men only presented their copies of their passports along with the letters of support. All this is very unusual because nationals from Central America do not require visas to enter Belize. And Elvin Penner made one request to Belmopan on behalf of a Paraguayan woman, Katharina Reimer de Schmidt, on September 5th. She only gave him her application and a note from Penner's desk. There was no passport photo, no passport biodata page, or any other supporting documents. In addition, four Chinese nationals were requested to receive visas at his order, supported by Director Maria Marin, and approved on July 6, 2013, shy of a month after their applications. So there you have it. What will the Prime Minister do now? This is what he has said. Don't make it worse. There is no corruption there. There is a terrible perception. The optics are bad. The optics are... Man, you must... Look here. Better you shut up, you know. So, Mr. Speaker, I say again, the leader of the opposition was perfectly correct in raising this issue. I think he went too far in describing it as not what it is, but what it is is bad enough. And I guarantee you that it stops from this moment on. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.